Hello guys, I am all nice and smart today because I'm at the opening of my latest exhibition and in this video I'm going to show you around the exhibition and tell you a bit about it. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you soon. Yes, as Mark said, um, he sent me through um, a lot of these images here. I came up with a little something which I'm going to read to you. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside outside of summer. I do like to be beside the shut, rusted gates and gears of off-season amusements when the salt water joys run dry and the sky is a dull shade of grey. Now I'm really privileged in this show to be juxtaposed against the great Josef Kadelka. So we've got my work over this side and Kadelka's work over this side. Now I really, really wish that I could show you some of the prints of Kadelka, but I can't because I don't own the copyright to them. But just look them up, Kadelka, South End on Sea. And what's really cool about this show is that these pictures here, the Kadelka ones, were taken in 1972 and they were taken to document where we are here, South End on Sea, and mine were taken over the last four years and so they're much more recent. And what you notice is actually the places, they change slightly, the people, they change slightly, but the feeling does not change. And these English seaside towns are just vibrant places and they're perfect for documentary projects. You've got the eclectic people that roam it. You've got these neglected places and buildings all around South End. And you've got now a lot of different cultures coming to South End, and that didn't happen when I was younger. I've been coming here for years. You know, I've come from East London and the Essex area, I've been coming here for years. And that now, there is lots of different cultures all around South End. You didn't have that before. But the feeling of the people here is exactly the same. And you can clearly see that from Kadelka's work to my work. It's people coming to the seaside and having fun no matter what the weather. And I think that that is a typical English or British thing to do. We don't let the weather get us down. We just come here and try to have as much fun as possible. It's been really uh, positive. I've been really impressed by uh, the work of both photographers. But it's just nice to see as a South End girl to see images of people around South End and a real representation of the people that live here. My favourite images from the exhibition are these two behind me. Um, I really like the combination of um, one that kind of symbolises sort of the homelessness and the issues around that in South End, um, which is, is a big issue, um, but also how you have a gentleman quite clean put together um, that is doing okay. I, I like the, the juxtaposition of those two sides of society, but also the two images together. And I do like to be beside the sea wall when the weather retreats and the weather's bleak, inhale the vinegar, rich air, and observe the underbelly of fiberglass boats protruding from the mud. As kids search for crabs beneath the slabs of concrete and rock where the last of the salt water hides. I think, well, as I, as I walk around the exhibit, it's, it's, it's a really good snapshot, I think, of what present day South End is about. And I obviously, it's uh, comparing and contrasting with um, an exhibit from the 1970s. But I think, and I think it's really interesting to see how things have evolved. And you can see in terms of the multicultural dimensions that are actually picking up in society today. My favourite photograph is the one behind me, which is called Gulls. Um, I quite like it. I'm not an art person, but I like it because I think what it's looking at and depicting is in many ways the idea of chaos in society and in the world we live in, but yet within that there is structure and form. And I quite like the fact that the, the birds are sort of, they know their place, they know their order, and within it there's something going on. And you can look at it and you can look at different birds and what's happening with them. And I think for me, it's my favourite photo of the exhibition that I've seen so far. But I do like to be beside the sea when we finally reach that summer heat where we laugh and eat on the shingle beach like Edwardian families on weekend retreat, hear live bands, eat from ice cream vans and have our meals snatched from our hands by hungry gulls. It really captures the, the essence that I got when I first moved to Essex. I moved here uh, about six years ago and um, I moved here in sort of winter time and there's this kind of preconceived notion of South End as this bustling, sort of busy, vibrant place. And uh, I, I came here and there's this kind of sublime bleakness um, that, I, that was kind of captured in my mind as well. I think Mark captured that really well. And it's kind of almost that sort of element of um, when the fun stops for some of the year. The two artists that are represented today, the kind of juxtaposition of their work and the kind of relationship of their work was that of starting new generation coming through, but that old generation still being there as well. A nice 
mix of characters in the seaside, but not being disparaging towards those characters, sort of humbling that kind of seaside character and seaside um, personality that comes about. So I, I've, I've really enjoyed the show. So I hope that in this show I have captured this area and I've documented it intrinsically in an honest way so that my pictures can stand the test of time just like Cadelka's. I mean that would be absolutely brilliant for me. In the description of this video, I'm also going to have links to Matt, the guy that's filming this for me. Check him out, check his videos out, they're brilliant. Um, Jack, who done the performance, uh, he, again, another, another great guy who I collaborate with quite a lot. And the gallery, the Beecraft Gallery, and where it is, and the details of this exhibition. Uh, so get yourself down here and see the show. It's really, really good. Now, I hope that you have enjoyed this video and if you have like it share it with your friends subscribe to our channel hit that bell button if you don't do all of them things we can't bring you these videos so it really really helps us out thanks for watching and remember learn more at the school of photography